Welcome to the Sonnet Echo Express 3R video quick start guide. The Echo Express 3R is a Thunderbolt 2 to PCIe card expansion system. Through its PCIe slots, you can connect three expansion cards to any Mac with a Thunderbolt or Thunderbolt 2 port, or to a Windows computer with a Thunderbolt 2 port. The Echo Express 3R also provides space to install optional kits that support mobile rack storage enclosures and other devices. While the Echo Express 3R supports every Thunderbolt compatible card available, your expansion cards will require Thunderbolt compatible drivers to work properly through the interface. Thunderbolt compatible drivers ensure, among other things, that the card properly supports hot plugging and disconnection, and properly recovers from sleep when installed in the Echo chassis, and they also enable the card ID to correctly be recognized over Thunderbolt. Please visit the Sonnet website for an up-to-date list of compatible cards. In this video quick start guide, we'll highlight the steps necessary to get your Echo Express 3R up and running quickly. For more detailed information, please refer to the printed user's guide included with the product, or find it on our website by clicking the Manuals tab on the Echo Express 3R product page. So let's get to it. First, take a moment to familiarize yourself with the 3R, starting with the outside of the chassis. On the front is the power LED. This lights up when the 3R is connected to your computer, both the computer and the 3R connected to power outlets, and the computer is turned on. The product does not include a power switch, because the 3R powers on and off with your computer, and sleeps at the same time too. This power saving feature mimics the conditions of the PCI slots in a computer like the old Mac Pro. On the sides of the outer enclosure, you'll find rack mount extension rails. Sauna includes these adjustable rails to better secure the 3R in mobile racks, and in installations where the 3R must be supported front and back in racks up to 24 inches deep. On the back, these two holes accommodate the installation of BNC connectors used by some expansion cards. Below is the power input socket. Connect the included AC power cable here. Here are the Thunderbolt ports. Connect a Thunderbolt cable between either one of these ports and your computer. You can connect another Thunderbolt device to the other port. Thunderbolt technology enables you to daisy chain up to six devices to a single port on your computer. On the left, you'll find the temperature control fans that draw hot air out. Be careful to not block the vent holes on the front or back of the chassis to prevent overheating. Now, let's take a look at the inner assembly. This locking plate secures PCIe cards and port access covers in place. These port access covers are used to cover openings when PCIe slots are unoccupied. And here are the three PCIe card slots. Slots 1 and 3 can each hold up to a by 8 mechanical card. Slot 2 can accommodate up to a by 16 mechanical card. The 3R comes with a 6-pin auxiliary power connector for cards that require extra power. Finally, these guides firmly support and secure full-length cards. Now, it's time for you to install your cards and get rolling on your projects. Remove the 3R from its packaging, and then set it on a flat, level surface. Remove the included Thunderbolt cable and cable lock from the package, and then set them aside. If necessary, use a Phillips screwdriver to adjust or remove the rack mount extension rails by removing the four screws securing each one to the side of the enclosure. As necessary, set the rails in place and secure them to the enclosure with no fewer than two screws on each rail. With the back of the 3R facing you, remove and set aside the five screws securing the inner assembly to the enclosure. Push the back of the assembly into the enclosure, 
and then gently pull out the assembly from the front. Set aside the inner assembly. If you're going to install an optional Sonnet mobile rack device mounting kit into the 3R, remove and set aside the six screws securing the blank plate inside the enclosure. Remove and set aside the cover plate. For those unfamiliar with them, Sonus Mobile Rack Device Mounting Kits offer flexibility in adding additional capabilities to your system. The basic kit enables you to install one or two five and a quarter inch form factor mobile rack devices, such as storage enclosures or media readers, and easily connect them to cards installed inside the 3R. Pre-configured kits that include the devices, cables, and PCIe card are also available. You provide the bare drives to complete the package. Now it's time to assemble and install your system. Due to its size and weight, we recommend that you install the empty rack mount enclosure first. If you don't have full access to the back of the rack into which you'll install the 3R, or you are installing an optional mobile rack device mounting kit into the 3R that will reside in a mobile cart or rack, wait to install the assembled 3R until instructed to do so. It's time to prepare the 3R's inner assembly for installing your cards. A quick support note, before working inside the chassis, Remember, it's always a good idea to wear an anti-static wrist strap to avoid electrical discharge damage. Also, avoid working in carpeted areas. Turn the inner assembly so the PCA slots are facing up. Loosen the locking plate's thumb screws and then remove and set it aside. Remove the port access covers and set them aside. One more note. Before you handle your expansion cards, remember to avoid touching their connector traces and component pins, and also avoid touching any of the chassis circuit boards and components. This step is optional. If you're installing a card that requires auxiliary power, locate the wire harness connected to the six pin auxiliary power connector, and then remove the cable tie. Check the six pin connector to see whether it mates with the connector on the card. If they match, move the loose end aside for later connection. If the connectors don't match, disconnect the auxiliary power wire harness and then replace it with the cable included with your card. For example, the power cable included with the Avid HDX card would replace the included auxiliary power wire harness and plug directly into the power connector on the board. This step is optional. If you're installing a card's B and C connectors, remove them from their original mounting plate and then set them aside. Remove and set aside the two screws securing the Thunderbolt interface card to the inner assembly. Gently push down on the edge of the card to disengage it from its slot. Grasping its bracket, swing the card out of the inner assembly and then set it aside on a flat surface component side down. Insert a B and C connector cable through a mounting hole. Slide a nut over the cable and then secure the connector to the chassis. Repeat the process for the other cable. Route the cables out over the top of the PCIe slot riser card. Once both connectors are secure, pick up the Thunderbolt interface card by its bracket and then insert the card back into the inner assembly. Line up the card's connector with the slot and then gently but firmly press the card straight into the slot. Using the two screws you removed previously, secure the Thunderbolt interface card to the inner assembly. Before installing your expansion cards, Let's take a look at the PCIe slots again. As stated earlier, there are two by eight slots. 
If you're installing a Bi8 PCIe 1.1 card, like the original Red Rocket, or certain 10 gigabit Ethernet cards, installing it into slot 3 may result in reduced performance. We recommend you install it into either slot 1 or 2 for best performance. Now, it's time to install your expansion cards. Remove a PCIe card from its packaging, handling the card by its edges and without touching any components or gold connector pins. Line up the card's connector with the slot and then gently, but firmly, press the card straight into the slot. Do not rock the card or force the card into the slot. Repeat these steps as necessary with any remaining cards. If you installed a card that requires auxiliary power, connect the auxiliary power connector to it. If you installed a card with BNC connectors, connect their cables to the card. Install the port access covers you removed previously for any unoccupied slots. Secure the cards and port access covers using the previously removed locking plate. Now that you've installed the cards into the inner assembly, it's time to put everything together. If you're installing a mobile rack device mounting kit into the 3R, prepare it now. Once the kit is ready, gently insert it through the front of the rack mount enclosure until it stops. Next, gently push the 3R's inner assembly into the rack mount enclosure until it stops. Secure the inner assembly to the back of the enclosure using the five screws you removed previously. As necessary, secure the mobile rack device mounting kit to the back of the enclosure with the three larger screws included in the kit. If you're installing the 3R into a mobile cart or rack, we recommend that you secure the kit to the top and the bottom of the enclosure with the two smaller screws included in the kit. If you haven't installed the 3R into its rack, do so now. Now that everything's assembled, let's talk about Thunderbolt connections. If you're plugging in Thunderbolt devices and a daisy chain to your computer, where you connect them in the chain can affect their performance. If your computer has a Thunderbolt 2 interface, you should connect the 3R or other Thunderbolt 2 device first in the chain to the computer, then connect other Thunderbolt 2 devices next before connecting any 10 gigabit per second Thunderbolt devices in the chain. If you connect a 10 gigabit per second Thunderbolt device ahead of a Thunderbolt 2 device, its performance will be decreased to 10 gigabit per second speed as a result. Connect the supplied Thunderbolt cable or other Thunderbolt cable between either Thunderbolt port on the 3R and a Thunderbolt port on your computer or any other Thunderbolt device in the chain that is already connected to the computer. If you are daisy chaining additional Thunderbolt devices, connect another Thunderbolt cable between the downstream device and the open Thunderbolt port on the 3R. Using a Phillips screwdriver, Secure your Thunderbolt cables to the 3R with the supplied Thunderbolt cable lock. Now you can connect the included power cord between a wall outlet or power strip and the 3R's power socket. If you installed a mobile rack device mounting kit, connect its power cord. You must press the power switch on the back of the kit to power the installed devices. Note that the 3R's power indicator will not light until the computer and any other Thunderbolt device connected between it and the 3R is powered on. Let's verify your system's connectivity. Go ahead and turn on the computer. The 3R will turn on.
From the Apple menu, select About This Mac. The System Information application will launch. When the About This Mac window opens, click More Info. A summary of specifications will appear. Click System Report. A full report window will appear. In the System Information window, click Thunderbolt under the hardware header in the left column. In the top right column under the Thunderbolt device tree header, you will see the computer followed by Echo Express 3. If Echo Express 3 is not listed, disconnect and reconnect the Thunderbolt cable between the computer and Echo chassis. Note that it is not necessary to shut down the computer before disconnecting and reconnecting the cable. When a card is installed into one of the Echo chassis PCIe slots, the status of the PCIe slot, listed as a port, should appear as connected. Click PCI cards under the hardware header in the left column. At the top of the right column, installed cards are listed. By selecting a card at the top, detailed information is listed. You should see yes next to driver installed and tunnel compatible, otherwise the card or driver might not be Thunderbolt compatible. If needed, you can visit our Sonnet website for an up-to-date list of compatible cards. With all cards listed as compatible, you and your Echo Express 3R are ready to go. We hope you have found this video quick start guide helpful in setting up your Echo Express 3R. Again, for more detailed information on specifications, precautions, and known issues, please refer to your product's included user's guide or find it on our website in the Manuals tab on the Echo Express 3R product page. The Sonnet website always has the most current support information and technical updates for your product. If you need further assistance, feel free to contact Sonnet customer service by phone or try us through email at support at